Karina, I went out with a search crew earlier today where the mud was knee deep, much like this right now, even on full grown men, it was waist deep at some points, really inaccessible. The roads you cannot go and they had to hike miles and miles through driveways, through what used to be roads, homes, um, property, and it was thick and very, very hard to get to. Right now, I'm at the Montecito Inn right now, where I actually saw last night cars coming in to stay here to get out of the storm. They thought they'd be safe here, but they weren't. There is mud all over the first floor of this hotel. Um, we still see some lights on up here, but the cars in this parking garage are completely thick with mud, and um, it's just absolutely knee deep. They're trying to clean it up. This right here is just a debris pile and much like they were doing today, they went out to go search each of these piles to see if there were any survivors or any signs of life. Houses washed off their foundations, cars wrapped around trees and structures compressed onto each other, all while the water keeps rushing. People were in their homes and neighbors woke up with other neighbors homes just disappeared down the street, down this drainage here down down the creeks. The sound of a freight train basically and uh, the earth was sort of moving. That was about quarter to four and that was when the first water came down the creek. Now crews search through the debris piles. See if there's any surface victims or anybody we can pull out right now. This is going to go on for days. Crews were able to pull out two young girls, one 14 years old and another girl whose age has not yet been determined. It was pretty surprising. She was cold and tired. Rescue crews say the 14 year old was trapped under the roots of huge trees that had fallen. It was pretty amazing that she walked out of it. Uh, other family members, uh, one we're still looking for right now. So it's just tragic what happened overnight. Right now, crews are still searching the area. You can still hear helicopters up in the sky looking for any signs of life. Right now, they are not using any heavy equipment, but they are hope to bring in cadaver dogs and use those much more. And they are now bringing in heavy duty lights and batteries so they can work through the night and save anyone they can. With me, you know, it's just complete devastation in this whole area. A big tree took this out. We're still looking at the Montecito Inn and the crew I was with today did in fact find two bodies earlier and their work, they're just working around the clock and it's completely devastating and they still are working through all of this thick mud, terrible conditions, trying to save anyone they can. Back to you guys. Definitely a sad, sad day there with 15 confirmed deaths now, uh, or 13 confirmed deaths now, uh, Megan, and it's just, it's unimaginable that this is happening in our backyard. And as you have, you have so much debris around you that I'm just making out now that that's a car behind you with its wheels up in the air. And you're saying that was right. taken out by a tree yeah. that just shows you the, the massive force behind this slide. You can see, you know, someone just ditched their boots here. They're broken. There's signs of life everywhere here. We're seeing uh, kids baseball bats, just random household items. Look, these are blinds. These are some type of blinds right here. Um, it's just household items that should not be here. And this is a car that is just completely, completely crushed, mangled. It's just a wheel, basically. It's just metal. It's everything is out of its place. It's truly truly saddening and it breaks my heart to see all of this it sure does and it, it, you know it just took it from the top to the bottom and anything in its path it just took with it all the way down to blinds a car a tree there this is un unbelievable yep. megan what is that big building um, that you're next to behind you um, just to give us a little reference point can you even make out what it is this this is the Montecito Inn. It's a hotel downtown um, in the Coast Village area. And people were evacuating here last night, hoping that they would be safe. But the mud came rushing through the first floor. This is actually where we stayed during the fires. We were evacuated from this same hotel because it was so close to the fire line. And now again, these travelers here in this hotel are just had to evacuate once more all of their cars in the parking garage completely filled with mud to the very top of the cars. Right now you're still looking at emergency personnel traffic coming through this area to clean up. These are crews coming in um, fresh starts right now.
because we need those reinforcements. Yeah, absolutely. Well, some good signs there that, uh, you know, rebuilding is underway at least to start clearing out that debris and starting to, to recover there. Megan, thank you so much for that live report.